The Rockwell B-1 Lancer is a supersonic variable sweep wing heavy bomber used by the United States Air Force. It has been nicknamed the Bone. It is one of the Air Force's three strategic bombers, along with the B-2 Spirit and the B-52 Stratofortress. As of 2024, its 75,000-pound payload is the heaviest of any U.S. bomber. The B-1 was first envisioned in the 1960s as, as a bomber that would combine the Mach 2 speed of the B-58 Hustler with the range and payload of the B-52, ultimately replacing both. After a long series of studies, North American Rockwell won the design contest for what emerged as the B-1A. Prototypes of this version could fly Mach 2.2 at high altitude and long distances at Mach 0.85 at very low altitudes. The program was cancelled in 1977 due to its high cost. The introduction of the AGM-86 cruise missile that flew the same basic speed and distance, and early work on the B-2 stealth bomber. The program was restarted in 1981, largely as an interim measure due to delays in the B-2 stealth bomber program. The B-1A design was altered, reducing top speed to Mach 1.25 at high altitude increasing low-altitude speed to Mach 0.96, extensively improving electronic components, and upgrading the airframe to carry more fuel and weapons. Dubbed the B-1B, deliveries of the new variant began in 1985. The plane formally entered service with Strategic Air Command as a nuclear bomber the following year. By 1988, all 100 aircraft had been delivered. With the disestablishment of SSC, and its reassignment to the Air Combat Command in 1992. The B-1B's nuclear capabilities were disabled, and it was outfitted for conventional bombing. It first served in combat during Operation Desert Fox in 1998 and again during the NATO action in Kosovo the following year. The B-1B has supported U.S. and NATO military forces in Afghanistan and Iraq. As of 2021, the Air Force has 45 B-1B. The Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider is to begin replacing the B-1B after 2025. All B-1s are planned to be retired by 2036. The B-1 has a blended wing body configuration, with four General Electric F-101 G-102 afterburning turbofan engines, producing 77.4 kN thrust each dry, and 136.9 kN thrust with afterburner. Traveling at a maximum speed of 830 miles per hour at an altitude of 40,000 feet. Its combat range is 5,543, which is enough for it to reach Russia if it takes off from Austria. Triangular ride control fins and cruciform tail. The wings can sweep from 15 degrees to 67.5 degrees. Forward swept wing settings are used for takeoff landings and high-altitude economical crews. Aft swept wing settings are used in high subsonic and supersonic flight. The B-1's variable sweep wings and thrust-to-weight ratio provide it with improved takeoff performance, allowing it to use shorter runways than previous bombers. The B-1's structural mode control system moves the vanes and lower rudder to counteract the effects of turbulence and smooth out the ride. The nose gear door is the location for ground crew control of the auxiliary power unit, which can be used during a scramble for quick, starting the APU. The B-1's main computer is the IBM AP-101, which was also used on the Space Shuttle Orbiter and the B-52 Bomber. The computer is programmed with the Jovial Programming Language. The Lancer's offensive avionics include the Westinghouse AM, a PQ-164 forward-looking offensive passive electronically scanned array radar set with electronic beam steering, synthetic aperture radar, ground-moving target indication, and terrain-following radar modes, Doppler navigation, radar altimeter, and an inertial navigation suite. The B-1B Block D upgrade added a global positioning system receiver beginning in 1995. It also features the Sniper Advanced Targeting Pod and Radar Warning Receiver and Defensive Jamming Equipment. The B-1's defensive electronics include the Eaton ANALQ-161, a Radar Warning and Defensive Jamming Equipment. 
armed with AGM-183 Air Launched Rapid Response Weapon, MK-82 Air Inflatable Retarder General Purpose Bombs, CBU-105 Wind Corrected Munitions Dispenser, GBU-39 Small Diameter GPS Guided Bombs, and other 13 different types of missiles and bombs. It will then gradually be replaced by the Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider. This aircraft's longevity is proof of its versatility and ability to adjust to changing strategic requirements. That's all for today. See you in another video.